Here are five mistakes I made building my own e-bike. So the first mistake was choosing a bike that wasn't necessarily built to go fast or stop fast. If you're gonna build one, especially if you're gonna build one fast, you definitely wanna pick the right bike, preferably one with disc brakes on both ends, maybe some suspension as well, if you're really gonna fly down the road on it. Another thing we did wrong was we bought, bought the parts separately. So we bought the wheel separate from the battery and then we realized, oh, we need a rack. So we bought a cheap rack and that didn't work. So I ended up having to buy a specially built battery rack and kind of bodge it onto the bike like this. But if I had planned ahead and really got a system that works together that's built for a beach cruiser, I think it all would have been a lot easier. And if you buy the battery with the wheel from the same manufacturer, then you know that they're designed to work together and you won't have any problems with not enough voltage or too much. Another mistake was going with a front wheel kit versus a rear wheel kit. We didn't have much choice in this case because it's a coaster brake bike that only has one gear. You know, if you've got a gear stack in the back and a shifter, you can get a rear wheel that works a lot better. And then with the front wheel kit, you know, it's heavy on the front end. It kind of handles funny and it's just a big giant heavy wheel. You can do wicked burnouts with it, which is a plus. So you can see you can take off quicker with a rear wheel kit than with the front wheel kit. And the front wheel kit does come with screws in it for a brake rotor. So ideally you'd wanna put it on a disc brake bike so that you'd have some stopping power on the front. On this bike, we assumed that we'd be able to put rim brakes on it, but the rims on this e-bike are really harsh. We sanded them down, but they're still really grooved and they just tear up the pads. So this one isn't really designed to even work with rim brakes. And a safety consideration, if you're considering a front wheel kit, you wanna make sure you have a super beefy fork. Regular standard cruiser forks might snap from all the torque, so you definitely wanna be safe. And how much power do you really need? We definitely bought too much power on this bike. It's, it's way too fast, in my opinion. My son would disagree with that 100%. He rode this to school for a couple of years, loved it, crashed it a lot, and it was very dangerous on the road. Top speed, 38 miles an hour is just too much for the street, I think. It's not a motorcycle, so you don't really need motorcycle speed. So if I did it again, I'd probably want to underpower it. So you're getting where you need to go. You got a little help getting up the hills, but you're not terrorizing the local populace on the bike path with it. But overall, I don't regret any of it. It was a learning experience. I had a lot of fun with my son and his friends. We learned how to build things and how to do things wrong and then get it right and... Uh, repair, rinse, repeat. So if you've got kids, this is a definitely a fun project. Again, I, I would recommend not making it a total rocket ship, but building one that just helps them get up and down the hills and get to school on time. I uh, hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.